Warmer weather is here and that means you'll be hearing the usual warnings about sunscreen and staying hydrated. One local organization is also urging you to put on the bug spray. One Chesapeake woman I met was near death twice after being bitten by a tick more than 10 years ago. It is Your Health Tuesday and Kimmy Carroll is calling on all of us to get educated about Lyme disease. It's ahead of a first ever awareness walk set to take place this week. It was awful. It was like I was 80 years old and you know I was 20. You may not be able to tell from pictures, but the pain in Kimmy Carroll's past was unbearable. Some people thought I was kind of faking it or making it up. The doctors thought so. She had trouble breathing. She suffered seizures, and back then, playing the piano was unthinkable. I'm so much more appreciative, you know, of the things that I can do, and it's just like, I can't tell you just the joy it brings. You know, I never thought ever I'd be able to play again. Today, Carol is on the road to recovery, but it has been a tough path. Bitten by a tick more than 10 years ago, her condition had been misdiagnosed. It started with a trip to Georgia, and it started with a tick bite. I had a bullseye rash, kind of white in the center, um, and then makes red rings around the edges, um, so it's classic. And the ER doctor actually said to me, this could be Lyme. Mm -hmm. And he said, but I don't think it is. We don't see much of that. And he sent me home telling me it was a bug bite and the flu. According to the Centers for Disease Control, if untreated, Lyme disease can spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system. Carol almost died twice, and it has taken her the past decade to get back on her feet. I was on death's door, and here I stand, you know, almost well, on my way to remission, and it's possible. There is hope, and um, just to hang in there. On Saturday, she'll be walking proudly as part of the first ever Walk to Defeat Lyme Disease in Virginia Beach to share a message of hope and warning. The medical community needs to recognize this as a major problem. We need prevention. People need to know that when they get a tick, they need to be aware, you know, to watch for a rash, watch for those flu-like symptoms. The Hampton Roads chapter of the National Capital Lyme and Tick-Borne Disease Association will have its first ever Walk to Defeat Lyme Disease and Family Picnic starting at 8.30 a.m. on May 21st, that's Saturday, at Mount Trashmore Park in Virginia Beach.